Kylie Jenner has taken a Snapchat to announce that she is now going vegan. She shared a plate with a photo of tacos stuffed with cheese, a side of salsa, lettuce, and it added, I'm trying this whole vegan thing, vegan tacos with the black shell. I guess that's a wheat, wheated shell, but I'm not quite sure because I'm not a vegan. I won't lie. Kylie is well known for loving meat, by the way. She told Teen Vogue in 2016 that she's obsessed with fried chicken and cheeseburgers from In-N-Out Burger. She also said that she can eat whatever she wants, including Oreos and Twizzlers, and still have her same body. However, her sister, who is a Vogue magazine model, Kendall Jenner, may be changing her because she recently become a, became a spokesperson for uh, Puma which is an athletic brand, and she's been modeling in workout clothes for her brother-in-law, Kanye, recently. Um, you know, Kylie's had a really tough week. She was accused of copying a, a publication by Sarah Pope, in which she said she copied her Temptation neon logo in order to use it for promotional materials for Kylie's reality TV show. According to the document, she said she created that piece, Pope created the piece in 2015, a similar piece fle featuring a glossy set of lips outlined by neon lights where it was at every beginning of the life, first life of Kylie trailer. And it's all over social media as well. I've seen this thing on all kinds of shirts. I live in Los Angeles, so I've seen it downtown LA and everywhere else. Sources close to the reality show said that the design was created by the third party and that Kylie Jenner had nothing to do with it. Now, this comes just weeks after her sister Kendall Jenner and her were under hot water for selling those vintage t-shirts with their face on top of our deceased legends Tupac and also Biggie Smalls in one of the lawsuits filed against her photographer Michael Miller claims that they misappropriated and wrongfully exploited his work as their images were printed over their snaps of these legendary rappers these ladies are going through it now this guy Miller Scott uh, I'm sorry, yeah, this guy Miller, his lawyer, Scott Allen Burroughs, says that he, it's a uh, copyright issue and that he could receive $150,000 per photo for statutory, statutory damages. Ooh, that's a whole lot, young lady. They've also been sent cease and desist orders by Notorious Biggs Estate. And the family of Tupac was deeply angered, calling these people disrespectful. You know, you guys just got to stop knocking off people's things. All right? You just got to stop. Um, they ended up making a statement. They said, these designs were not well thought out. And we deeply apologize to anyone that has been upset and or offended, especially to the families of the artists. We are huge fans of their music, and it was not our intention to disrespect these cultural icons in any way. Well, we cannot tell. They said the T-shirts have since been pulled from retail and all images have been removed. We will use this as an opportunity to learn from mistakes. And again, we are very sorry. Oh, you're going to learn all right. You going to learn all right. Now, after reading this apology letter, the estate for Tupac released a statement saying that this issue has yet to be resolved. They said, while we appreciate that the Jenners have made an apology and pulled that unlawful and unauthorized item down, this matter has yet to be resolved. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how hard it is to come up with your own art. Do they not know artists that draw original art? I know artists on Facebook that draw original art, and then they post it on Facebook. Come on, ladies. You guys let me know what you think. Make sure you leave your comments, like, and subscribe. Oh, and I'm about to wear a shirt just like that today. Copyright. Like and subscribe.